Hi, I'm Jeff. I want to talk about how to install Anaconda using command lines for Linux and Mac OS users. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the installation step by step. Please follow my demonstration and get an idea of how it works. When required, you can make a shell script and automate the whole process by using the command lines in this video. First, let's look into Anaconda installer repository. Find the installer of the right version that interests you and write down the version. For example, we choose the version 2019.03. Now download the installation package. I use wget here, and you can of course use curl if that's your favorite. Give it the right version and the right operating system name for the URL. Once it's finished, you can check the downloaded file and make sure it is a shell script. Then you can run the file in command line. Remember to give it the minus b parameter so that the script will run in the batch mode. Now all files have been copied to the right locations. Let's initialize and set up the environments. Check the location of conda command. We are going to use this location later. Then we use eval command to execute a shell hook generated by the corner command. We are not going to dig into the details of the shell hook here, but want to point out that there are other hooks for shells other than bash. When the shell hook is executed, you can see the command line promise changed, indicating the corner environment is activated in your current shell section. Within this activated shell, you can then install Conda's shell functions for easier access in the future. For some reasons, you don't want to have the Conda environment activated when a shell starts. You can set the auto activation option as false.
In this case, when you start a new shell section, the content environment is not activated automatically. But you can manually activate the content environment if that's what you want. Now you've already installed and set up the corner environment step by step. If you like, you can put these command lines all together to make an automation script for your own need. Hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.